hello hello everyone so i'm sure you guys uh, are well aware that we on lockdown right about now <laughs> that we are on quarantine but or not on we are in quarantine but it is still springtime so you can still have some springtime stem fun so of course over here to the right of me i have the very STEM partner, none other than Miss Remy May. And then I have the incomparable, the absolutely fabulous and amazing Mrs. Brewer, the best mommy and grandmommy in the whole wide world. Alrighty, so what we're going to do today, since it is springtime, we're going to have some fun spring STEM activities, all right? So the very first one that we're going to do is erupting Easter eggs. So the only thing that you will need is you would need a container of which to pour your vinegar in. You will need uh, uh, food coloring, baking soda, and I'm sure you guys remember these Easter eggs. And then a carton that can hold your Easter eggs. So because we're all about color in the springtime, an added twist that we're going to do is we're gonna make it like a rainbow. All right, so now's the time for you to remember what are those primary colors and what primary colors do you mix together to make different colors. It's all gonna come into play. All right, so May May, are you ready? Yeah. All righty, so the very first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take your baking soda and you're going to place your baking soda in each Easter egg. All right. So we don't need a lot. So as you can see, I just have like a spoonful, but it's probably going to be like half a spoonful for each one. You go through one by one. Just adding in. You smell the baking soda, May. You go through just adding it in. So while we do that, what are some fun learning things that you've done at home while you've been on quarantine? Because I know quite a few districts have gone to, what do they call it, distant learning or e-learning. Um, some parents are starting to homeschool. So have you done any STEM experiments with your parents, with your new teachers? Have you done any baking? Because baking incorporates science as well as math. Mm. Oh, wow. And a little surprise from May May. A little later today, I have doggy cake mix. So we're gonna do a little baking experiment too because you know, our furry STEM partner is my fur baby. So I gotta make sure that she's still up on her learning too and not just helping you all with yours. Alrighty, so I'm almost done putting the baking soda in each egg. You watching me, May May, make it to eat. <laughs> right, this is nothing to eat, May May. And now what I'm going through and doing, there were a few eggs that the baking soda got like a little chunky. So I'm just making sure that I break up those chunks. All right. All right. You licking me, so are you saying it's up to satisfaction? Mm -hmm. Is that what you're doing, May May? All righty. So now here's the fun part where we got to use our brains. All right, so red, blue, green, and yellow. What type of colors are these? Pink and purple. Are they the primary color? All right, May May, these are primary colors. Choose, which one are we gonna do first? She has chosen yellow. She has let her tongue speak for her. So you know what, why not go ahead and put two drops of yellow food coloring in a yellow egg. All right, now looking at our other primary colors, what color makes orange, yellow, and what? Let's see if May can guess it. You are right, <laughs> yes. So, and you know what the funny thing is? They say dogs are colorblind. They say, but may may make me question that right now. All right, so to make orange, you have yellow and you place red. So we're gonna do one drop yellow and one drop red. All right. Now since we have the red open already, may may I'm gonna go ahead and do one that's gonna be red. Let's see. I'll put it in the pink one. All righty, and of course we should know that if you want pink, opposed to just doing one, uh, two drops of red food coloring, you just do one. So we'll do that one right there so that one can be pink. 
All right, so May, let's use some primary colors we haven't used already. Which one? All right, she chose green. All right, so let's get green in here. All right, and now May, which other primary color would you like to mix it with? That's my finger, that's not an option. <laughs> which one? Blue. So do you guys know what color blue and green makes? If you don't, we shall soon see, won't we? <laughs> All right, so one drop blue, one drop green. All right, and you know what? While we have the green open as well, let's do green and yellow. And all that's left is green and red. I don't think that's going to make a color, but you know what? This time is all about experimentation, right, May May? Because granted, I haven't gone over primary and intermediate colors in quite some time. All right, so the only one that we did not do yet is blue. So let's go ahead and do two drops of blue. And then we're going to do blue and yellow. We're going to do blue and red and blue and green. You guys can't see it, but she's trying to get an up close and personal view of what's going on right now. All right, and did we do red, Mrs. Girl? No, solid red, no. Okay, so let's do red and blue, red and yellow, red and green. All right, and then you know what? Since it looks like I only have four left, let's just do straight primary color. Because I should have been paying more attention to see to remember which colors <laughs> I used. All right, so now we're going to close up our food coloring. And now, May May, you might want to get up here so you can get a better view of the reaction. But she's trying to get the down below <laughs> view. All right, so what you're going to do, make sure, let me also say this, make sure, because we're not about no messes, right? No messes. Make sure that you have a tray that you can place your containers on because there may be some uh, overflow. Ain't that right, May May? All right, so you take your vinegar. I'm going to move this more so out the way and actually may may what are we getting ready to make we have baking soda in in here and this is vinegar we're getting to make a what do you guys know we're getting ready to make an chemical reaction this is an, we have acid and bases that are getting ready to interact with one another and of course they're going to make us sound so, uh, <laughs> she wants to get down so she can see it. She wants to look up at it, but when I pour it in there, you're not going to be able to see it. Okay. Uh, now she want to come on, on the other side, but I don't trust May over there because I don't want her to get startled and then knock over mm -hmm. our stuff. Remy May May. Come on back up. Right. Come mm -hmm. get, get the best view in the house. <laughs> back up. That's it. All right, so are we ready? Are you ready, May? All right, let's go. Oh, you hear that, Fizz? Ooh, and, and D, we're having some overage, some overflow. We see our orange there. Ooh, these are some pretty colors going. Uh, I see our purple. And even once after everything begins to settle, you're able to see. So we actually made turquoise, which if you don't know what that color is, mix blue and green together. Um, I do see our purple that we made. I see our orange. And we actually came up with some beautiful, did you guys see those beautiful oranges? Like I was here for it. All right. But yes, so just because you're stuck indoors does not at all mean that you cannot have a springtime 
indoors. All right. So don't forget to practice social distancing. Uh, don't forget to wash your hands and wash your hands for a full 20 seconds. Please, 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 if you can, stay at home. Let's flatten out the curve. We can beat this. And by all means, join us next time for our Remy May STEM moment with our furry STEM partner. Catch you guys later.